Hi everyone, I'm Lily's Taro. Welcome to my channel. I want to say a big happy new year's to everybody. I hope you guys really enjoyed yourself or if you just had a, a cool chilled out one, you guys practiced a lot of self-care for yourself. So um, yep, we're in January. I thought we'd do a love reading on all zodiac signs so we could just sort of see what's to come, okay? So we are going to start with air signs. So this is going to be for Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. It will be time stamped in the uh, comments box below. Check the sun, moon, rise and Venus signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the beginning of this year is going to offer for love. Okay, so we're going to start with Libra. Okay, Libra, what do we have? Okay, we've got be bold and make the first move. What is that? All right, so let's see. That's some um, some big energy right there. Okay, let's see. Maybe a little bit scared. Maybe you're holding back. Or well, this is how your person is feeling, right? Ooh. Oh, we got a message. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so it's definitely going to be like a lot of communication. I think back and forth between you and somebody else, someone forbidden. All right, this is somebody who you feel like maybe you do really love, someone you probably banished from your life because, you know, they've done you wrong or they didn't choose you, someone who could also be in another relationship with somebody else. Um, so, yeah, it's almost like they're off limits. Okay, so this person feels like they need to be bold and make the first move. Okay, which is also tells me like, I don't know, this person might be looking for some type of vindication in this situation. So let's see who this person is. Oh. We've got three of wands. Oh, page of wands. And we've got patience. So yeah, <clears throat> um, maybe this person has had to kind of stay away for a while. You might not have spoken to this person in a really long time, right? I'll get one more from here. Um, but now they've made that decision. They're coming towards you. It's, you know, they're definitely going to be in contact here. Yeah, we've got the moon here. So I think this person has a lot of fears when it comes to, you know, wanting to interact with you wanting to speak to you, maybe they want to clear the air, maybe they also want to apologize. This person definitely misses you, um, but they are feeling as if they need to kind of swoop on in and do what they need to do. Like they're trying to rescue this situation as well as um, I feel like apologize to you. Let's see. Yeah, we've got this emperor here, we've got this Aries energy. Yeah, someone feels like they need to boss up and they need to come and tell you how they feel, what's happened. But they just can't seem to find the right time or the, the right way to express themselves towards you as well. So they're just kind of going back and forth. But you are their wish fulfillment. You come up as the star. This person feels like they want to give you everything they possibly can. Um... So this person's hoping that enough time has passed. Yeah, look, we've got justice. Are you Libra? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this person just wants you back. Look at that empress. They adore you. They think about you all the time. They might even watch you on social media if they still can. Ooh. Five of Wands. So I think it's driving this person crazy. Okay, I think this person usually probably has a lot of pride. I'm here in center of attention as well. But with this magician energy, they're definitely going to be reaching out and making contact. Um, but as well, you know, I'm not really getting much of, you know, an apology here right now. I feel like there's a peace offering, but it's you're then you're then coming out in that Queen of Swords energy where it's just like that's that's all you've got to say. 
Like you think that you could just come back and say this or offer that and I'm just going to be like, okay, cool, let's see what happens, you know. So I don't think that as much as this person has had that time and space, they haven't really thought it through, like in terms of dropping their pride and really apologizing to you for things. Okay, they just expect to kind of show up and you're just like, yeah, okay, great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's pick up where we left off. So, yes, I think be prepared to hear from this person. Let's see. Okay, so really and truly, this person can't get you out of their head. Um, I think they're replaying old arguments that you guys had, or maybe it was like the last things you kind of said to each other. But with this sun energy, they just, I don't know, I feel like this person really does feel like you're the one. Okay, but they almost want to be released from, it's almost like they just want you to forgive them, okay, to kind of release them from feeling quite horrible about what they've done to you. But this is going to be your choice. Okay. But this person is going to be coming through swiftly, I feel like. Or they're finding a way to bump into you or see you or whatever. So we've got Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. We've got Libra, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Aries. Aquarius, yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, for some of you as well, there could be a birthday coming up. It's either their birthday or your birthday as well. Sorry, not their birthday. I feel like this could be your birthday. Or this is like um, a friend's birthday and you guys know the same people. You might get invited to the same, the same party and not even realize it. Yeah, I think for a lot of you, you guys are just kind of moving on. There's someone here who wants to date you. They're reaching out to you as well as this ex. Some of you need to kind of be a little bit careful because there's someone around you who wants to do business with you or help you in some type of way with your career, but they do also want to sleep with you too. <laughs> you need to be careful. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Libra. Yeah, we've got this self-care energy. They really want you to be taking care of yourself. Stepping outside of your comfort zone, especially when it comes to love. I think there's something within you that has kind of changed how you see relationships. Um, I feel like your perception on a lot of things is, or how you see the opposite sex has changed as well. And I think you're trying to be more mindful about what you're projecting out there and kind of taking that time out. All right, there is something about love that does kind of terrify you for obvious reasons. But... I feel like you guys are very patient. Um, and you've become more patient with yourselves, I think, more than anything else. We've got playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think some of you are going to be reconnecting with your person. got big happy changes but we've got girl with a snake being charmed or used enable boundaries we've got nostalgia so someone's definitely thinking about you looking at old pictures missing you wanting to make new memories but we've got have faith, love is coming, surprise meeting. So this is what I'm saying. I think you might have two people, okay, that want another chance with you, okay? I do feel like there's new energies coming in as well. But I think there's somebody that maybe you haven't had history with, but you know, or you have had history with them. 
and they're kind of coming back um, and you know they want to offer you those big happy changes but then you also have this ex that is completely forbidden okay and the moment I think you allow them into your your mind or have com certain conversations with them they're going to find their way to be quite charming and worm their way back in so you guys just need to be really careful okay enable your boundaries all right, but they're saying, have faith, love is coming. See, this person feels extremely lonely without you. That's too many. Um, but then we do have addicted to your love. So I kind of think this person is just obsessed. As well as having some feelings for you, I feel like they're more about having their way with you and missing certain other parts of you. We've got, hold on, don't let me go, but you've played me for the last time. So you have let this person go. And I think a lot of them coming back is just their ego. Okay, so just hold out for this other person, okay? You've got two different connections, sorry, communication, forms of communication coming through. So don't be too tempted, okay, by this person because they don't deserve you. All right, I want to see, wait, hold on, guys. Mm. Yep, so be prepared to be invited to little soirees, parties, networking events, things like that, okay? You're definitely going to be receiving flowers. Okay, there's someone here who's quite romantic that want to date you. And when the clouds kind of clear of this whole rubbish with this old person coming back, okay, you're kind of able to communicate in a way where you're like, I don't want nothing to do with you. And you're really sticking to your standing on business. Okay, and you guys are really going to be focusing more on the home as well. All right, so maybe you're going to be putting a lot of love into your home as well. Ooh, okay, is there anything else I want to give you? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there is. Let's have a look, Libra. We have choices. Ooh. <laughs> They're coming for you. Pause before you choose. Okay? Pause before you. Should we read it? I wasn't going to, but I think we should, guys. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, so we have choices. Where are you? Uh, sometimes when decisions are required, it can be helpful to pause before you choose. In moments when your mind is divided over what to do, it can be useful to consider what your highest priority is in the circumstances. For example, if you and your loved one have different views on a matter, do you stick to your preferred option or go with your loved one's suggestion? The decision is up to you. In times like these, you will prioritize over whether your option is paramount to you or if you are prepared to set your preference aside for another. When you select this card, the angelic realm is indicating that you may need to make an important choice soon. It is important to bear in mind not to make decisions based on the advice of others who don't have to live with the consequences. Do what's right for you. Ooh, like that Libra. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your little love reading there. <laughs> okay, um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye Libra. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Gemini. Yes, okay, Gemini, let's go. This is going to be your love reading, okay, but just for like the beginning, you know, of the year. See what's coming in for you guys. All right, Gemini, let's oh, check your sun, rising, Venus signs. And it's not going to resonate with everyone, so take what does, leave what doesn't. Oh, okay. 
All right, so it's getting a little bit hot, guys. I'll put the fan on. Hopefully, I'll take the noise away. Okay, so Gemini, we have it's time to release negativity. That is a full moon in Scorpio. And then we have nothing will come of this situation. All right, so this is a love reading, guys. Remember, it is general. So let's take a look. So we got cycles, okay? Someone's going round in circles. All right, you are not free. You are oppressed. <laughs> Fragment, okay. So some of you are kind of losing parts of yourself to be in this relationship, okay? You could be losing friendships or just, just parts of yourself that is sort of being eaten away at the fact that you're, you know, going round in circles and cycles with this person. Um, I guess you kind of already know that nothing is going to come of it. And I think the negative forces that are weighing you down is this relationship, you know? So let's have a look. All right, Gemini, let's take a look. What's going on? Eight of Wands. Nine of uh, Swords. King of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Two of Air. Uh, Ace of Earth. Yeah, I, I don't know if that... I feel like you're just going around in circles disappointing yourself with this person. Um, and you, you almost don't even really say how you feel in this situation anymore. Because you're not really expecting things to change, yet you stay in it because I think you're just kind of scared or you feel really insecure. Um, but, you know... I think even some of you might have had some time apart from this person. A lot of you have been doing a lot of creative things in that time. Um, just really trying to work on little things that you really enjoy. Uh, but essentially, yeah, you kind of feel like you're really isolated. You know, there's a lot of fearful thoughts about this person. But you always hope for the best when they come back and offer you something. And that's what they're coming to do now. Okay, so let's see. That's why a lot of your your personal hobbies and things like that, they don't really tend to go anywhere because you're so tied down with what's going on in this relationship or lack thereof. And then mentally, you just feel really unbalanced. Got Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, High Priestess. Yeah, I think a lot of you kind of want this person to come back, even though, you again, you're just scared. But I don't know. It's almost like this person does live rent-free in your mind. And, you know, them kind of approaching you means that, you know, they want to change. But this person, to me, just looks like they're always going to kind of do their thing, offer the bare minimum, make you feel good, and then make you feel really bad after that. You know, they almost make you feel like they have to choose, but they're not going to choose you. So they kind of toss things up in the air with you. And it's not nice. And I feel like with this high priestess energy, you know, it's almost like this person's really trying to keep you a secret. They're not trying to have you out there. It's like, okay, this is somebody I'm seeing, you know, and... I just think you guys need to really use your intuition. Your guard needs to go up and it's time for you to really like release yourself from this and see this situation for what it is. Okay, which not to be horrible, but seems like a complete waste of time. Yeah, we've got change. They're like, it's time for you to move on. <laughs> 
look at that mean female. You deserve to be the only one. Some of you, this person just uses you as a crutch in life. Like they just know you're kind of always going to be there no matter what. All right, but we got a wealthy man here. And we've got a gift. Oh, sudden wealth, house and pathway. So there's someone else coming towards you that is way more stable. Um, that's in their, their, their financial affairs, you know, in terms of their living arrangements. Um, they're able to provide for you as well. And yeah, I think they're just going to offer you more of a solid foundation. So again, kind of similar to um, Libra's reading, they want you to kind of hold out for somebody else, okay? And not for this person who's just going to offer you the bare minimum. Some of them here as well, I think that they're, they're calling out a lot of mental health stuff as well. But at the end of the day, you know, you... You kind of want to support them, but you can't because they need to help themselves. So they just need to go and get help themselves. They need to go through that process. You know, there's not much you can really do. And you can offer them that support because I feel like you've offered them different types of support in the past and they don't do it anyway, you know? So they might pretend to or say they're going to this time, but they ain't doing it. They ain't doing it. All right, but they know how to pull at your heartstrings. It's like, woe is me. Look at that. We've got watching, spying, wanting to express their truth. But you see, in the summertime, you had a glow up. Not only did you have a glow up, you completely like went through some type of transformation. Okay, there was a lot more manifesting coming into your life. You started to believe more that you had the ability to change things. Definitely got became more creative. Things you used to do in the past as a child started popping up, so you started to do those things again. Look at that. Transformation, dark night of the soul. Okay, this was all during the summer. And then look at that. In the winter time, harvest time, you naturally closed off from this person anyway. Yeah, look at that. Facades, beliefs, all kind of fell away. So you know who you're dealing with. It's just hard to kind of really make that leap and stay there because you could leave and then go back a month later because of the panic and the fear of not having them in your life or letting them go and then possibly change it for someone else never going to happen okay you got to give yourself a chance out here and choose you right that's the most important thing we've got within the next few months. All right, so either this person will be popping up in the next few months, as well as your new person, okay, who's about to show you what time it is out here, okay? Let's have a look. We've got the truth will be revealed. Why are you the only one I think about? Heartbreak Hotel, release me. <laughs> okay so you are wanting to get away from this person you know exactly what their love does to you okay it just breaks you down um and makes you feel worthless and constantly hurts your heart okay but you know the truth about this person but they just want to kind of hold on to you for their own selfish reasons but we're done new year moving on right okay hold on Yeah, so guys, you are coming out of the storm, okay? I feel like things have been really rough for you and you really was dealing with someone who was sly, who couldn't be trusted. Oh, and if any of you have kind of lost a pet, okay, over the years, sorry, over the years recently or like even last year, they're like watching down on you, okay? They are there. I feel like you've got spirit guides around you that are protecting and guiding you, okay? Two people especially that are related, that are watching over you, that want the best for you.
And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. Love it for you. Um, and let me pull you one of these before we move on. So we have heal. Oh. Stay on your healing journey, okay? Do not re-trigger yourself by allowing this person back into your space. We've got revitalize your heart. And that's why all those things that you, you know, I was talking about your hobbies earlier, things that kind of bring you joy, it's important because that is like filling up your cup of love again, and you're doing that by yourself. So it's important to hold on to these things. Uh, we've got healing happens in various ways, depending on what occurred, sometimes quickly, sometimes more slowly in stages. This means that it is important to allow yourself to heal in the best way for you. A minor upset might be healed in a day, whereas a major loss, such as an unexpected relationship breakup, might take longer, depending upon the circumstances involved. It is necessary to set realistic expectations upon yourself in moments like this, both regarding your own feelings, which might take time to heal, and the behavior of others who might not act in ways you want, which can be hurtful. When you select this card, it is a reminder from the angelic realm that in times that require healing, you will benefit by letting go of unrealistic expectations so that you can begin to heal. It can be helpful to keep in mind that when you revitalize your heart by seeking healing in whichever way best suits you, you will discover in time that you are stronger than you thought and that you are worthy of the kind of love that is dependable and kind. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, Gemini. Better get on that path of loving you a little bit more. And if you guys are like, yep, this is where I'm at, just love yourself even harder. Like, what else could you do, okay, to pull that love back into you? Because, yeah, you're worth it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. We are going to move on now to Aquarius, okay? So, Aquarius, this is going to be your love reading for the beginning of the year. Let's say January. <laughs> January, February, March, maybe. Let's see. All right. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So let's take a look, Aquarius, last but not least. What do we have for you for love? Oh. We have a win-win outcome is forecast, and that is a full moon in Libra. Okay. Off to a good start. Aquarius. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, we have understanding and we have honesty here. And we've got traps. Okay. Okay, so um, some of you could be in a situation, all right, where you know that your person is with somebody else, <laughs> or you are with somebody else. But you guys are just aware of your situation and that it is what it is for now. All right, but we've got seven of pentacles. We've got the world. The hangman. These cards are really pretty. And we've got four of cups. So, yeah, even though, okay, I'm going to say, even though your person seems to be caught up somewhere else, they really are wanting to end it. They're not really wanting to, like, invest or reinvest into their relationship anymore. If this is you as well, you could be feeling the same way. Maybe you're both in relationships, okay? Or maybe it's just you that's in a relationship. Take it as it resonates. But there is an ending coming, okay, and a new beginning. Um, and it really feels like you will be able to be with the person you kind of want to be with. That looks to me where this is going, okay? So right now, I think some of you are just kind of trapped in a relationship, or they are, but there does need to be some kind of honesty, and I feel like maybe your person is going to be honest about their feelings towards you soon. 
Okay, let's see. We've got five of pentacles. Yeah, we've got eight of swords. Three of cups. Oh, lovers. Mm -hmm. Two of wands. Page of pentacles. Knight of wands. Nine of cups. Nine of wands. So yeah, it's kind of hard. I feel like that we've got eight of cups. It's kind of hard because I do feel like you have your guard up to a certain extent, or maybe they do, okay? Um, maybe this was just supposed to be a little bit of fun and your person is somewhere else, uh, but it's kind of turning into, okay, you guys, it's almost like wish fulfillment. Um, it's kind of upsetting you because, you know, at the same time, they can't really offer you 24-7. They can only offer you... 5%, 10% of time or whatever. Um, so for some of you, you might feel like you just kind of want to walk away. <laughs> but this person, Page of Cups, um, Knight of Swords, they're not going to let you. Okay, they, they're they really going to be trying to be sweet. They're going to try and stop you. They're always going to try and keep you there, okay? Um, yeah, it's a tricky one, guys. <laughs> I do feel like this person's got caught up. Um, yeah, we've got main female. Message of concern. New pathway, but this person kind of having to probably like, almost like they're being kicked out or they're ending their relationship, their relationship is coming to an end, like I was saying before, and this person's coming towards you for a new contract to say, look, do you want to be together? <laughs> okay. This person might end up being honest with their person and saying that they are actually in love with someone else. Yeah, thief. Like, they've been cheating. Okay. They might. Oh. Getting interesting, Aquarius. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Separation, yeah. So some of you, even if you're not with this person, you're both thinking about each other heavily. Or even if you are still seeing each other, when you guys are apart, um, you're thinking about each other. But we do have karma, balance, justice. But unexpected storm. Integration, union. So yeah, I, I feel like for some of you, you're going to end up with this person. This is going to be your person, okay? This is just going to be your person. It's going to be your person. <laughs> it's going to be your person. And look, we did. We got a win-win outcome. It's forecast, boo. Because deep down, you probably really want them and they really want you. But honesty kind of needs to happen, you know, Yeah, we got death. Relationship is over. No second chances. Okay. So their relationship is coming to an end. This could be your relationship coming to an end, which means you guys get to be with whoever it is that you want to be with out there. Ooh, okay. It's getting interesting, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Wow, this person's your soulmate. <laughs> they can't love you like I do. <laughs> this person don't want you to be with anyone else. I've been talking to you. Ooh, your answer phone. The glow is fading from your eyes. Oh, yeah, this person's got a... Got to act soon. They know it. Can you give me anything else? But we got player. All right. So there's something about you that makes you feel like you're, they're a player or you're a player. Okay. 
But this person is going to be honest with you and say, it's not the case. This is how I feel. I want you. We've got forgiveness. We got forgiveness. You know, and you might think this person's a player because they're already in a relationship and then they're seeing you and maybe you've known them to have somebody else. So this is really tricky, but it feels like someone's handing up, like, hanging up their player, their player hat for you, you know? All right, so let's see. Pull you a little bit of guidance before I leave you beautiful people. Aquarius. Oh. You got commitment. <laughs> I told you, you got congratulations. It's time to celebrate. This person really, really wants to be of you. All right, so let's have a little read. Wow. <laughs> okay, you got co uh, congratulations. It's time to celebrate. When two people make plans for the future together, it demonstrates a shared commitment to each other. Formally announcing that you're a couple living together, becoming engaged, getting in, getting married. All of these actions show mutual commitment. There is a sense of exclusivity when a commitment is made that excludes others from forming shared romantic relationships with either partner. When you select this card, the angelic realm is indicating that you may be about to enter into a new level of commitment with a partner. If you are currently single, this may mean that a relationship is on the cards. If you are already in a relationship, you may find that the commitment you have towards each other deepens soon. Ooh. Okay, I feel like someone really does value you, you know, in all aspects of you in their life. Um, so yeah, that's interesting, guys. Okay, but yeah, look, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Good luck to love, okay, at the beginning part of this year. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, uh, I think the link is now on my profile on here. So yeah, take care, guys. Love you so much. Bye.